Good morning, boys and girls. How are you? So good to see you. Come and sit with me on Grammy's quilt today. I have an animal that I want to talk to you about. It's from Central Africa, from the Democratic Republic of the Congo. And it, it's a native animal to that area. It has fantastic markings. In fact, its hindquarters looks like it's wearing striped, horizontal striped pajamas. And its front legs look like he has long socks on that are marked. So interesting, this animal was discovered in 1901. Anybody have any kind of meat of what it's called? It's called... That's right! You got it! Oh, copy! That's right. It's such a neat animal. Oh, copy has deep brown fur, and the sides of its faces are white, and the males range from five to eight feet tall. The female oh, copies are actually a little larger than the males, which is quite unusual, and their weight is from about 440 pounds to about 660 pounds. They're herbivores, which means they eat just about any kind of plants. They eat over a hundred. It's been known that they eat over a hundred plants. And they eat fruits and seeds and leaves. Well, copies about 45 to 60 pounds of leaves daily. Wow, a lot of leaves. <laughs> um, Okapis are shy and solitary. They don't travel in herds. They have long tongues. They have a tongue that's about 16 to 18 inches long. And they can actually wash their ears and um, even clean their eyes with um, this tongue. It's just, if the tongue is used to glean the leaves off the trees. And so it's so interesting. Okapis well, actually look like they're part of the zebra family, but they aren't. They're not part of the horse family or the zebra family, but they look like they should be. They're actually related genetically to the giraffe. So interesting. Baby okapis weigh about 30 to 65 pounds per And they can walk within 30 minutes of being delivered in this world. I first learned about okapi. I mean, it's not a well-known animal and it's almost extinct. But I first learned about it when my grandson, his name is Christian, who's 19 now, but he at the time was about 18 months to two years old. Such a bright little guy. And we would take him to the San Diego Wild Animal Park and he would get close to where the okapis are. And he would go, okapi, okapi. It was so cute. He just loved okapis. They were his favorite. I just spoke to him. And he would eat saying he still remembers just liking them. Okapis sleep two hours a day. So that's very much like a giraffe. They're, they sleep about the same amount of time. I have a picture of one, an okapi. And it says, God made the okapi. And see how he looks like he has pajama bottoms on and long socks on the top? So cute. They have very large ears, and it's, it's so they can hear their predator far off. They have very poor eyesight, but they, their ears operate independent of each other, so they turn independent of each other. They live about 20 to 30 years, and they have low calls not heard by humans. Their young can hear, these calls and so um, it, they're called infrasonic hearing 
because it's lower than humans can actually hear. They live in the dense forest, rainforest, and their markings make them pretty unnoticeable. They walk like a giraffe. They use both their front leg and their back leg simultaneously on one side and then the other. And they can run up to 37 miles an hour. Um, they can gallop like a horse too. You think they're related to zebras, but they're not. And I said that before, but that is such an important point because they really do look like zebras. They have four stomachs to digest their those tough. So they that's kind of like a cow. Um, God made the okapi. It's beautifully marked. And next time you're at the zoo, see if they don't have an okapi so you can enjoy this beautiful bird. By the way, these coloring sheets, I now have a link on my website that says that has all the uh, coloring pages. So you can go there and have your mom print them out and you can color them. And it, there's also a place you can send me a message if you'd like me to speak about an animal that's your favorite that I haven't already mentioned please write me a note. I'd love to hear from you. Anyway, I hope that you had um, a good learning experience today, and I hope that you uh, enjoyed this message. Let's just pray together. Father in heaven, I thank you so much for the beautiful okapi that you made. And what a beautiful animal it really is. Thank you, Lord, for all the animals you've created and for all the boys and girls that you've created that are listening, even now. I just pray that in Jesus' name. Amen. Bye. See you next time.